just across the road, we're going to step away from the 21st century into another world altogether on Putney Heath and Wimbledon Common. Came out of Putney Station back there and it was absolutely bucketing down with rain. And for a moment I thought this walk wasn't going to happen. We're going to start the day with a Waitrose all day breakfast for lunch at 2.15. I've been quite lucky with the weather actually over the last sort of uh, three years of making regular videos. But it stopped, kind of stopped, stopped enough for me to get the camera out anyway. It's about 2.40 p.m. Just under two hours of usable daylight. And I'm going to walk across Putney Heath and Wimbledon Common and hopefully go and visit Caesar's Camp. Caesar's Camp. Well, I mean, it's actually probably not Caesar's Camp actually, but it's a very old hill fort, at least Iron Age hill fort at the far end. And we've got all sorts of things to see on the way. Really looking forward to this. By the way, this was a suggestion actually. I'll try and find the comment, but whoever suggested this walk, thank you very much. I think this is going to be a very muddy walk today. Putney Heath was once notorious for its highwaymen. I think Jerry Abshaw was one of them. And after he was uh, executed in Kennington, he was hung, drawn and quartered and hung from a gibbet here on Putney Heath. You can imagine that grisly scene, can't you? In the county book South London, Harry Williams writes in 1949, this same heath not so very many years ago was the haunt of footpads and highwaymen. Here the body of the notorious Jerry Abshaw was left dangling in the breeze for the better instruction of would-be highwaymen, while Dick Turpin swept across that turf on the road of robbery. Putney Heath was also well known for being a place where uh, duels were fought. Seems weird that that's the way people used to settle disputes once upon a time, the gentry and stuff. And there were a number of quite famous duels that took place out here on Putney Heath. There's a particular colour to the cloak of winter, isn't there, in Britain? These kind of greens and browns and grey. <laughs> Is that an underpass, or is it the portal to the fairy realm? Or it could just take me to Wimbledon Common. Either way, it's all good, isn't it? This lake, I believe, is called King's Mere. Various kings of England used to uh, parade their troops here on Putney Heath, most notably Charles II. You see the change in landscape now as we move towards Wimbledon Common to more kind of scrubby heathland. I believe this is the biggest area of heathland in London and it's a, a triple SI, a site of, uh, site of specific scientific interest, is that right? Something like that, put it on the screen. So it's starting to rain again, but only very gently. Of course, it's, uh, it's impossible to walk on Wimbledon Common and not think of the Wombles. Where are they? They're around here somewhere, hiding in the scrubland at the heathland. And there it is, Wimbledon Common Windmill, one of my landmarks for today. So the windmill here is where Baden Powell wrote some of his famous scouting for boys. So you could say this is one of the homes of the whole Boy Scouts movement here on Wimbledon Common at the windmill. I wonder what the story is with this stone here by the windmill. It could be anything from a, a milestone that's only been here for a couple of hundred years to something that was dumped here in the kind of glacial periods. Who knows? To me that does have the look of a piece of worked stone into a plinth like it was a milestone. 
across this big wide open expanse of Wimbledon Common now. I want to go and find Caesar's camp, which is on the far side, but there are some obstacles. Of course, there is my um, terrible sense of direction. Let's see how we go. Wimbledon Common is a large area of completely unenclosed land. If you look at um, South London, there are actually a large number of commons in South London. I kind of added it all up from my book, This Other London. I'll put the figure down here that I calculated myself. But it is a, an enormous area of common land, open common land, people's land. some woodland now. Scrubby, spindly trees. Well, it's very difficult to tell if this is the hill fort, which is part of the golf course, because it sits right across the edge of the golf course. And there were attempts in the 19th century to destroy it. I think it's been damaged quite badly, but you can see a lot a long bank going along here, but it may not be the hill fort. According to Google Maps, that's where I am now. That's where Caesar's camp is, so it's in that direction. I should just about have enough daylight to get there. My reckoning, this path here leads us directly to it. It's just the other side of those trees there. So hopefully, off this track to the right is a footpath that will lead straight to Caesar's camp. It remains to be seen if that is the case. You might be watching this thinking, well, why didn't you do some proper research before heading out so you know precisely where Caesar's camp is? I find that kind of thing a bit boring, actually. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I just like to come out for a wander, but also if I did the thing where I looked at all the photographs of it, read descriptions of it precisely where it is, I'd just be going from point A to point B. There'd be no hunt involved. That's what I, the thrill of the hunt is what excites me. Obviously it's a bit annoying if you don't actually get there, but you know, it's all part of the risk. I've got great hopes for this footpath. It's kind of looking about right. Warren Farm to our left. Hmm, let's wait and see. So here's this plaque. Even I can't miss this. Boulders brass by the side of the footpath. Right, they built the golf club right on it by the looks of it. This plaque marks the eastern boundary of an Iron Age hill fort dating from circa 700 BC. It was surrounded by circular earthworks about 300 yards in diameter, with two ramparts and a ditch between. The outline is difficult to follow, but the adjacent footpath passes through the middle of the fort from this easterly limit to the western boundary. Wow, erected by the John Eveling Society in 1968. It says here, this camp is protected as a monument of national importance under the Ancient Monuments Act of 1913 to 1953. The Ministry of Public Building Works it's good to see them acknowledging it as a public building. But this is where the plaque sits. So this part of the golf course is built over the camp. And over there as well. But you can get a hint of the view that it commands across the valley of the Beverly Brook. So this footpath here passes right through the center of the camp, according to that plaque. And here is the southern portion of the camp. You can start to see a sunset breaking through the sky there. That's the far side of the river valley. And here's the northern portion of the camp. Obviously quite difficult to imagine at this stage. Although it's called Caesar's Camp, apparently that name only starts getting used in about the 19th century, had various other names before that, and uh, Caesar's Camp was often a name that was used for Iron Age hill forts. 
I suppose, because of the associations with perhaps battles with the Romans at the time of the Roman conquest. And it's believed that perhaps a battle took place here between, I think it was the Emperor Claudius, perhaps, his troops and the local tribes. But it was in use long before the Roman uh, invasion and, and also perhaps afterwards as well. So it's a site of enormous antiquity. There's people playing golf over there. So there were a number of burial mounds, tumuli, scattered across Wimbledon Common and Putney Heath. Most of them were destroyed by agriculture in the past, but there's at least one still uh, visible up near the, that pond, uh, the King's Mere. Well, I'm so glad I finally did this walk. Thank you to the person who suggested it. Um, and when I had my eyes on it back when I did the walk in, I think it was early November, and I cut, just cut across the top there, and I thought, I really want to walk lengthways all the way down. Putney Heath, Wimbledon Common, Caesars Camp, the windmill, fantastic. Just then the end of this muddy path is suburbia. So that'll be the end of my walk down there. Thanks so much for coming with me on another walk of revelations. I'll see you on the next one.